Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to introduce to you two new websites that we haven't discussed before in these videos. Um, the first is this one. It's called the Census Flows Mapper. And what it allows us to do is select any county in the United States and uh, essentially map out the net migration flows uh, to that county. Uh, we can also look at just outbound and inbound uh, flows. But this uh, site's pretty great because it gives you access to the raw data itself. Um, this is something, uh, this tool is created by the United States Census Bureau. It uh, allows access to the data from the 2006-2010 American Community Survey, and I, I think that you'll find it's a pretty interesting tool. So if you do a quick web search for Census Flows Mapper, uh, you'll get to this page. And you can launch the tool by clicking on the link down here. That's going to take us to another page. Uh, it's going to give us uh, a menu of, of choices on the left and then the map uh, rendered with states and counties on the right. So um, I, I think for this I, I'd suggest if, if you're from the United States or you're familiar uh, with a county in the United States, even if you're not from this uh, country, um, you know, maybe pick a, a Los Angeles County, for example, or some other uh, major metropolitan area that you're interested in. Uh, it, it's a pretty interesting application uh, that lets you uncover some of the uh, migration um, flows happening within the United States. In this uh, example, I'm actually going to work with Florida, so um, most of you are, are probably aware that Florida um, has a high number of retirees, and so we're going to map out some of those populations here. Uh, the county that I'm going to work with for this demo is Palm Beach County. And so after I select it here on the left, the map's going to render on the right, and I'll be looking at the net migration flows. Uh, and initially for this, it's, it's all the entire population, right? So I haven't actually broken out um, those of a retirement age yet, um, but you can kind of get a sense for what it's doing. So anything denoted in blue is, is basically where uh, there was a net loss, right? So there were more people moving out of the county uh, into that particular area than, than into it, and anything that's in yellow denotes the opposite. They uh, overall had more people moving into Palm Beach County than, than out of it from, from that or back to it uh, from that county. Uh, and if you want to, you know, look at just one of these uh, versus the other, you can also select that here under change the type of migration flow. Uh, so already a very nice application. Um, now here what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the key characteristic that we're looking at here. I'm going to select age. And for my age group, I will select 65 to 69. And I'll need to switch this back over to net. Right. All right, so when I do that, my map will uh, render and identify the same thing. But now we're just looking at that particular uh, age group. So among those aged 65 to 69, we can see that we uh, had a net loss uh, of individuals out of Palm Beach, Florida to, for example, Maricopa County in Arizona. Uh, but we had a net gain from other counties, uh, San Diego County, Los Angeles County. And if we go up to the East Coast here, we'll see some uh, other examples, Suffolk County, for example, in New York, right? All right, so that's well and good and very nice tool, uh, but it'd be even better if I could actually access the raw data, um, which fortunately with this tool I can. Uh, you know, one of the more frustrating things that, that I've encountered is that oftentimes when um, various local, state, or federal government agencies publish statistics uh, and claim that it's open data, a lot of times they, they still kind of lock it down in a, in a PDF, right? So you kind of have to go and try and strip out the data from a PDF and rebuild the tables. That's not the case here, uh, which I, I think is, is a real um, benefit of the site. Uh, the U.S. Census has actually given you access to the raw data. Uh, so if you click on this button up here, display data table, you'll get this pop-up. And we're looking at the data associated with the, the map right here. 
Uh, and then the really great thing is I can just click on this button right here and export it right to Excel and that's all I have to do. Uh, and you'll notice if I pull up Excel, when I do open it in Excel, it's, it's pretty clean. There's not a lot that I have to do here. Um, I, I will do a couple of things, but it's, uh, it's pretty much ready to work with. So if, if you're at a point where you just wanted to basically duplicate this map and say ArcGIS, um, you could go grab a, a nice uh, county uh, feature class that happens to have the FIPS code identifier and do your join and, and you're sort of off and running. Um, I'm going to actually uh, do something else with this data. I'm going to demonstrate a, a really great open source data visualization tool that a lot of um, uh, folks are, are starting to use. And we're going to do a little work with that. So starting with the raw data here, uh, I, I'm, I'm basically just going to do a few things. Uh, for the demonstration, I really don't need the FIPS code. And um, I'm going to append the county and state together. And um, so, you know, kind of working through these steps, going to my next sheet. Um, I'm starting here. I'm uh, using a, a real simple formula just to append the county name and the state name all together, and that'll make sense in a second. And then I've cleaned up the header here. I'm just going to call it net migration, right, for Palm Beach County in Florida. And uh, if I scroll down here, so I've already sorted these um, basically starting with the negative values to the positive values. You'll see that I have a lot of counties in the middle, that kind of fall in the middle here, that uh, don't show uh, a gain one way or another. And I, I'm not really interested in those, because the point of this basically is to show the counties where I'm seeing uh, the most people uh, lost at a retirement age for Palm Beach County and, and, and also gained, right? So if I look here, I can see we're losing uh, folks in the uh, 65 to 69 age range, uh, primarily to, to uh, other counties in Florida, but we'll see Ocean County in New Jersey happens to be uh, one that's not a local county. And then if I look at the um, opposite side of the spectrum here, I'll see that uh, Nassau County and LA County are where we're seeing the most inflows uh, from, or net inflows, right, in this case. So taking it one step further, I eventually want to get here, where all I'm looking at essentially is the state and county and the net migration field, right? All right, so let's table that for just a second. If I now introduce the second website that we're going to talk about, this is um, Data Wrapper. Data Wrapper is an open source tool uh, that lets anybody create these really, really great um, data visualization uh, widgets, for, for lack of a, a better way to describe them. Um, you can sign up for a free account. All you have to do is, is give them your email address and, and basically uh, you know create a password and, and verify your email address. And that's that's really it. Uh, if you want to learn a little bit more about this project, uh, you know you can go down here and uh, click on one of these links. But it is an open source project, which, which is great because it, it really opens up sort of the possibilities that you can um, do with the tool. So if you you know if you're into this and you're um, into coding, you can go and, and do some real customization on the on the way that the data interacts and all sorts of great things. So uh, I, I already obviously I already have an account set up here. Um, what I'm going to do here is now using that data that I've grabbed from the Census Bureau, I'm just going to click on Create Chart here at the top, and this really couldn't be easier. I'm going to select my data from my spreadsheet that I've cleaned up a little bit and paste it into this first window. And you know, if you want to just go to the tool and you don't want to download data first, they've also got some um, great sample data sets you can work with. I'm going to click on Upload and Continue. Now here I just want to explain the data. This of course will be publicly um, accessible, right? So I want people to understand where the data came from and, and how to get it for themselves. So I will credit the US Census Bureau. And let's go back to the previous page here that we first looked at. And I'm just going to cut and paste that in as the URL. And everything else should be pretty much ready to go. So again, I'm, I'm only pulling in these two counties, right? I'm sorry, these uh, two uh, columns. Click on Visualize, get to the next screen, and here I can pick 
any chart type that I'd like, right? Um, but I'm actually going to go with the default uh, view, which is just a bar chart to start with. Uh, and if I want to change the layout, I can here. And let's go to the refine the chart a little bit now. You know, as as we know with this example, I have some positive and negative views or uh, values. I just want to use a different color for the negative values. So I'm going to select this checkbox, and on the left is my widget, which is looking pretty good, right? So that's ultimately what we're going to have to work with. Now I can tell the story, right, of what this data represents. So in this case, we're looking at net migration to I could add some additional descriptive information. If I want to highlight something um, of interest, uh, for example, maybe I'll pick Ocean County, New Jersey. I can select a county here to highlight, or more than one, and you'll see here that in the final rendering, I'm just going to have that, that record highlighted. So maybe I've got something specific to say about Ocean County. If I did, I could describe it here, and I'm pretty much ready to go. So I'll click Publish. I'll get to this page. It's going to render the visualization and give me a link right here to my uh, finished visualization. If I have my own website, I can simply grab the code right here and paste that in, and uh, that's it. And at the end, I'll have this nice rendered data visualization. Uh, and so if I click on the link here, this is ultimately how it's going to look, right? So really slick and super, super easy. So I'm going to leave it there. I hope you uh, enjoyed um, both uh, learning a little bit about these websites and, and thinking uh, about sort of the possibilities that you might be able to, uh, to apply uh, these types of tools to your own um, stories or, or data visualization um, needs.